Hey guys, me host Superstar. Thank you very much. Jin, look what I got. I've got the Knight Brother Archer, one of the new Black Series figures in the collection, and I'm really happy to have this one. <laughs> So this, as I say, is from Jedi Fallen Order, the video game as a part of the Gaming Great series for Star Wars, the Black series, and he is such an awesome figure. On the back of the box, he does have an awesome write-up, which does state, capable of launching enemy bow attacks with deadly accuracy, this member of the male warrior society will fight to the death against the quest to rebuild the Jedi Order in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Okay. Bit of a random. Uh, and then on the side, we've got the nice picture there. And on the back, we've got a further portrait shot there. Let's go ahead and bust him out of the packaging, guys, and take an awesome closer look at the Knight Brother Archer. So here he is out of the packaging on the desk cam here for us to take a closer look at and he does look pretty awesome. Now first thing to note is he is a totally different colour to Darth Maul. When most people showed that product shot for the first time, uh, everyone was looking at the skin tone colour and I can confirm that he is completely different. It is a very pale skin tone by comparison to Darth Maul. Um, so yeah, very com very different figure. Um, although it is, he is a um, carbon copy of his knight, uh, the Knight Brother uh, from the Warrior, and I think even the yeah, even the face sculpts are identical. I can't see any differences here. Uh, so it, it, he is technically just a repaint. Um, I don't see any differences between the two. But the figure itself, looking at the actual figure, the articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down as well as left and right. There's a little bit of head pivot in there too. Arms lift out to the side and also rotate backwards and forwards and rotate round. There is a single hinged elbow that slides into place. You've got that abdomen crunch to crunch around on, which is nice. Um, no further waist swivel. Legs do lift out to the side as much as the skirt piece will allow as well as forwards and backwards. The bottom half of the figure is basically the Darth Maul figure uh, that the, the, the we've had for a long time. So it's that it's top thigh cut, double hinged uh, knees here, uh, no, no boot cut, feet are on rocker and pivot, and he does have display peg holes should you wish to use a display base. The figure is nice, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to knock it. It is a very nice figure. And you know, I, I, I do love Dathomir and... Uh, I do love all the you know the characters from there, especially in Jedi Fallen Order. It's, I do spend a lot of time there in the video game because I like, I love that level. Obviously, you guys know I'm obsessed with Darth Maul and stuff, so it's nice to have some more Knight Brothers. And we've got his bow as well, which is pretty cool. If I move the figure out of the way, just so we can focus on the bow. Uh, the bow is just solid uh, grey, which is. It's okay, um, and he does have the thing. It doesn't really stretch that much, so you're not going to want to pull that too much. But yeah, I wish this was on more of an actual elastication thing with like a peg, so you could actually get him to pull the bow string. So let me see what we can do. So let's place that in his hand like so. And like I say, it would have been nice if once that was in his hand, we were able to actually pull the bowstring. He's trying to get that in hand. Okay. See, like, yeah, because because of the plastic and stuff, you can get the bowstring in hand. But you can't get him to actually pull it to where it looks like he's actually taking a shot. And that's what you kind of want. So the, the nearest you're going to get is if he's just fired. So the hand's in the like, upper air. But yeah, it would have been cool to, to have a way of making it look like he's actually just fired a bow. Putting the bow to one side though, let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons of the figure. So let's place this down here. And we can compare mostly with his yellow counterpart, the Knight Brother Warrior. Who doesn't want to stand right now? You just came off the shelf. 
Why are you not in a pose that stands? There we go. <laughs> and everyone always, obviously, we've got uh, the Darth Maul figure, which is basically the identical figure. Um, they are more or less the same. There's just basically the skirt piece has got a different piece here. Um, that's basically it. Most most of the figure itself is identical, just different paint sculpts, different paint jobs. And, uh, and, and let's be honest, nothing has really changed on the figure from here. This is the bottom. This this mall is basically the the count the 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 all the lower parts here except the skirt piece has basically been reused on all of these figures. So it's been around a long time, the, or the, the bottom half of the sculpt anyway. The top half was kind of new with this figure. And then of course we've got Cal. We need to include Cal. <laughs> Keep knocking it all over. Come on. It wouldn't be a review without knocking everything over though, let's be honest. I'm going to have them all lingering in the background there like that. <laughs> so there is the full set of uh, kind of mall figures that I wanted to show with him. But yeah, Cal Kestis looks pretty cool with him as well. One thing to note is um, for head swaps and stuff, obviously, this old, the old mall, the old mall, uh, you can pop the head off uh, pretty easily because it had head swaps. Now, looking at these Knight Brothers and stuff, they're on the same sort of body thing. So it wouldn't it wouldn't take much to basically heat this up and pop this head off. I'm trying to I've been, I was trying to tug it then, but it doesn't want to pop off just now, and I don't want to break a brand new fig. Can I get it off? Nah, I don't want to. It's coming though. But yeah, it is just a little bit of heat in there, and you can remove that head sculpt. I have made it quite loose now, uh, but yeah, I've stretched it a little bit. But yeah, you can get the you can put a bit of heat under there. And basically, you can heat that up, pop it off, and then you could you could put any one of them heads on onto the Darth Maul body if you wanted to make an alternate sort of look to them. There we go. And the Night Brother, the Night, the Night Brother Warrior one pops off pretty easily, and I can pop that onto Darth Maul's body. And as you can see, it's very easy then to like make different versions of them almost like you know almost like a savage press that is basically if they ever give us a savage press you know that's how he's gonna look right because <laughs> because that they, you know they don't, <laughs> they don't always give us what we want but yes guys so that is basically it today i hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video ow my hand is now covered in little mark where the horns dug in oh Always use heat when you heat up your uh, Star Wars figures. I've been doing this a long time. But yeah, some of them pop, some of them don't. And uh, always use heat if there's any resistance. Just just an FYI. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I say, I've enjoyed making it for you. Um, and yeah, I really do like this figure. It is cool. It's something different. And yeah, it's nice to have him on the shelf. But what are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And subscribing really does support this channel. It really helps me out. Helps me to keep making awesome videos. So guys, until next time, may the force be with you. Bye!